what's up guys and welcome back to the pso2 station recap so today is the 22nd of april we are two days at this point away from episode six i myself have just been uh cleaning up a couple things i wanted to take care of on pso2 i think i'm just about done um so i'm ready hopefully you guys are soon we'll uh get all the new content and be able to mess around with stuff and see if this is actually going to be worth it or not you know but I'm not here to talk about what episode six can and or can be and will be and will not be. We're here to talk about the recap of what's coming up and a post episode six sort of stuff. So, um, and as always, thanks, Ricardo. We are reading up on this on Bumped as per normal. Uh, so, secret phrase, I'll include that in the video description. But you get yourself a nice, they say this is a scarf, but it's like a hat and a scarf combo thingy, my Bob. And an EX rare drop booster, 75%. So, not bad. Again, more rare drop rate boosters, more boosts to get things you're trying to farm for, so on and so forth. If you're still farming at this point, I feel bad if you are, because Jesus Christ, you've been at it for a while. But, um, yeah, so. There's that. I'm going to see if this is all under the, yeah, this is all the PSO2 content. So, yeah, this is all PSO2 content. Good. Um, so the, this is just whatever they decided to do during the, uh, the PSO2 station, whatever. Not a big deal. Um, uh okay yeah more live anime episodes of this thingy mabob are gonna be this episodes 9 through 12 will air on the in-game monitors starting april 26th to april 28th so they'll be showing off there's usually like an anime i think that is on i think they have it on youtube or somewhere else i can't remember exactly where it always posts but i believe this posts on the pso2 uh or like the fantasy star official youtube page as well so you can always watch them there but these will be playing in-game on the monitors so that's kind of cool um let's see pso2 will collaborate with was it move lou alternative in june so expect costumes hairstyles um cast parts all that good stuff so we got some pretty cool things coming along all right so and on the 15th of may is when they said we're getting this um they'll be introducing a new concept that they taught we talked about a little bit and they mentioned it a little while ago um but they're essentially shield types so We'll kind of read into them what we're going to be seeing. So enemy shields reduce half or uh, shields reduce damage in half. Attacking enemy shield weak points deals plus 20% damage. So you're either going to be doing an extra 20% damage by hitting the proper weak point or you're going to be doing half damage by not just hitting whatever you want. So be interesting to see how that kind of works out. That kind of makes me think about weak hit drink and how strong it's already been and how much stronger it's going to be. So. Hey, but drink farming is easier now, right? So shouldn't be too big a deal. Uh, so there are cases where the shield will attach to enemies upon emergency trials and ultra explorations. Um, initially, there will be five types of enemy shield weak points. Attacking from the front, attacking from the back, attacking the enemy weak point area, attacking from close range, and attacking from the air. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. And special abilities can be obtained from these enemies. Special ability Crack 1 is a plus 3 S attack, plus 5 S defense, plus 5 HP, and plus 1 PP. This does not increase damage towards enemy shields. Synthesis will lead to 2 and 3, etc. I guess these are new special abilities. New affixes? Yikes. Hate affixing. <laughs> so it looks like the new affixes that are really coming out so and this does not increase damage towards enemy shields so i guess these affixes only work on regular damage towards enemies not towards their shields so we'll have to see how much we actually are getting of those types of enemies if that's gonna make a huge difference or not but we'll see um i mean yeah they tend to whenever we get new stuff they tend to overload like that style of enemy so we should probably get quite a few of them also uh mid-may we're getting the konosuba um crossover event or Kona Suba crossover AC scratch thingy Bob. So we'll be getting tons and tons and tons of our useless goddess. Um but yeah we'll be looking at different outfits and hairstyles and all that good stuff. So that's cool. We'll be getting those pretty soon. These are interesting actually. I'm not sure how I feel about this outfit yet, but we're also be getting gothic fighter outfits and a sci-fi themed costume. So gothic fighters and a sci-fi theme. So we'll have to see how that goes. Like I said, I'm not sure how I feel about this just yet. It looks like these pieces are attachments. They might just be strictly like over. Like this might be an over armor sort of thing. And this is like the jacket over armor. This is like the imp, imp, the part inside is like the base, maybe. 
The only reason I say that is because I look at this picture specifically right here and I see that, you know, all of the arm stuff isn't there. So we'll have to see how that works out. Um, mid May, ultra hard, ultra hard enemies, more powerful versions of bosses with different behaviors. Um, Photonair infection cores appear only in ultra hard and launch powerful attacks. So we'll be getting new types of enemies for ultra hards. We'll have to see how those go. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, enemy shields rarely reduce damage to outside attacks outside of the enemy shield's weakness, so that's cool. So, um, we'll be getting a couple new 14 stars, it looks like. Um, that'll be Ultra Hard exclusive, I believe. The Ultra Exploration, mid-May. 12-player quests on planet Lilipa, desert sub-tunnels, and quarry daily rotations. Drops include, oop, 15-star weapons, tradable 14-star weapons and camos. Interesting. Um... 14 stars is going to be the Mirage series, slightly better than Orbit Potential. So there'll be new Orbit Potential-esque weapons. The Dim series, and then 15 star weapons have potentials with unique effects. So we'll be doing the, <laughs> the Ultra Explorations quite a bit for the new 15 stars, it looks like. Huh. That's going to be interesting. Because you know how people feel about new weapons. <laughs> I'm gonna go into that in a little bit just as as soon as we're done talking about the new stuff that's coming the weapon and kind of what I have to say about that stuff um so mid-may update ultra exploration new emergency trial try to achieve the requirements gather data on various conditions for example total damage dealt or number of enemies defeated new emergency trials subdue resonant enemies resonant enemies two enemies will appear if you don't beat both of them simultaneously they will remain the remaining enemy will become stronger. Oh, oh, that's cool. So they resonate. I think that's what those are. Subdue resonate enemies. It just feels weird saying it that way. All right. Um, for fu Jesus Christ, dude, what is this? Really? Now you're just you're at, you're asking for it. All right. Well, winners design contest side A. Really, guys? Really? This is what you guys designed? Uh, that's what you made. This is what you made. And then a trap outfit. I feel like that's a trap outfit, isn't it? And this is just like, I guess it's kind of regal and sort of cool, whatever. But like, really? Really? <laughs> These two? Come on. Items, design, contest, costumes, weapon camos. Uh, the, usually the weapon camos are dope from the item design stuff, so we'll have to see how those look. You know, I saw this in my Discord. Someone linked it to me, and they circled it, and they were just like, "Oh, gonna be more trap characters around now." But it still has the same effect that it did when I first saw it. Why? Why? Why would you do that? If that can be put on a male character, you're gonna create traps all over the place. It's gonna be ridiculous. Like, wow. Just put on big fake boobs on your characters. It's gonna be hella interesting to deal with. Um, <laughs> but anyway. And not that I'm saying there's anything specifically wrong with it, or wrong with anyone wanting to dress in that sort of way, just... I don't know, man, it just feels weird being in a video game. But I guess we are playing PSO2, so if it was going to be anywhere, it probably should be here. Um, let's see, so there's apparently item design contest consisted of accessories, lobby actions, and hairstyles, so... I'll see what they did with the hairstyles, that looks kind of cool, that looks interesting, I believe those are just the accessories. There's a single eye. I don't know what this is all about with these arms. Um, these lobby actions or whatever, I guess. Uh, further down, let's take a look. Uh, late May update, you search player shop market prices from the item pack. Oh, you can see how much things are worth in your item pack before you actually go to try to put them up for sale to see if it's worth holding on to. Interesting. You can now set the number of slots when searching for special abilities on the market. Oh, you can search. I see what they mean. So now what they're saying is you can search for special abilities. You can search specific special abilities and then also attach the number of slots that's, or that an item would have with that special ability. That's kind of cool. So like if you have like a six slot of something that you want to search, you can search specifically for this affix and six slot formations. Cool. Added feature that displays the number of players play, uh, players in a quest. I'm guessing it's going to be something where you'll be able to see it easily. 
um, boosted the effects of cuisine that affect gathering. So gathering cuisine is going to be quicker or is going to be better apparently in some way. The effects apparently. So I guess it's not going to be the time, it's the effects specifically. And then added AIS Vega training quest. So you guys can train with the new AIS Vega. Um, the new lobby. 619, so June. Yeah, June. Yeah, the June lobby is going to be a wedding lobby. Uh, let's see, late May update. As you know, the Armada of Ends emergency quest has three sectors. Each sector, however, has two patterns, making things less monotonous. You can get one of two patterns in each of them. Okay, so it's trying to, instead of you having just the same emergency quest every time, well, that's good and bad. It's a little less monotonous, but it could end up being like the, uh, the Phantom EQ, um, or no, the Persona EQ, where there were like two forms of Persona that just sucked. So we'll have to see. Sector, or excuse me, Sector 3. So whichever patterns are selected by the game, the third sector will have AIS Vega. So you can either get Destroy the Battleship is more AIS based, and then Enemy, or Sector 3, Enemy Battleship Assault has an on foot section as well as AIS. So that's kind of cool. Um, so this is where I was going to wait to get to these. So new weapons, we're going to be getting new 15 stars that have unique effects. So that was one complaint that some people had about the 15 stars that we were getting was the 15 stars were just very kind of generalized. They weren't specific to anything that you actually did or any sort of play style. Um, but the new 15 stars we're getting are going to be new unique effects. So collection prize medals for various items at the exchange shop. This exchange shop contains a bunch of 15 star weapons too. Hold on, wait a second. Collect prize medals for various items at the exchange shop. This exchange shop contains a bunch of 15 star weapons too. So you'll be able to exchange for 15 stars. Still, okay, that's not bad. I like that. Um, so they have the different names of the different types of weapons. It looks like some will be sharing um, weapon series types. Like, it looks like the DB and the TMGs will be sharing weapon series types um, and a couple of other things. It looks like a new 12-star unit, so if you guys were super unlucky and you never got your light streams, maybe these will be kind of your replacement in that spot. It appears the above are also quest drops. Okay, so they can be quest dropped, or you can do... That's actually really cool. So you can either collect the items to trade in for them, if I'm understanding this correctly, or it's a quest drop. So one of the two. Not bad. Um, limited arcs runs, uh, limited arcs missions will run July 10th. Even more prize medals from defeating Lumen or Lumen Max. Okay, so yeah, let me. Um, I, I want to talk about this. This is something I wanted to mention earlier, but I wanted to wait till we kind of got down here. Unless these are separated from the other 15 stars we were talking about, then you know whatever. But um, if I'm understanding this correctly, we're getting new 15 stars. So the usual argument that comes up with 15 stars is that I just poured all my money and all this stuff into the weapon I just got. Affixing is super expensive. This is really annoying. Why, you know, why outdate a weapon so quickly? First off, just heads up, this is every freaking MMO in the entire world. Um, whenever new content comes out, new weapons come out and new armor comes out. And more so in other games, complete, like, complete gear sets and things like that stuff that you work really hard on sometimes becomes completely obsolete um it doesn't feel like this is necessarily going to be the thing i kind of like unique effect 15 stars because unique effect 15 stars could just mean that they're used under certain circumstances and certain situations um it could mean it's an augment to your actual palette remember you can keep six weapons on you at one at any given time um of course it's not available for every single class or not every single class keeps so many different weapons with them, but you have a full palette. And now that we have use of your actual regular palette, um, classes like, you know, Hunter and things like that, they don't have to have multiples of the same weapon um, on their palette just to be able to use all the photon arts they want to use. They'll have the actual regular palette to utilize as well. So that's kind of cool. Um, but unique effect 15 stars aren't necessarily a bad thing. We'll have to see how it works out. If they're just drastically more powerful than the past 15 stars, that's going to kind of suck. But in my mindset, then I, that just tells me that these new 15 stars are what I'm going to go for, make a new version of that, and then take my previous 15 stars, element change those, and then use those as either backup weapons or, you know, sub weapons in any other situation, or swap them over to other classes that don't have 15 stars, you know, that sort of thing. So it's kind of nice. We'll have to see how it works out. 
Um, I'm assuming since these were these weapons are unique effect 15 stars, they're not going to be able to swap since they're not a part of the same series. Unless they make it so the series is together can swap between the two. That'll be kind of interesting, but I doubt that'll be the case. It depends on what the effects are. I'm hoping the effects are kind of cool because it's a new episode, man. New weapons. We knew it was coming. Everyone should have been prepared for it at some point. They've been given way too much free stuff to give you an incentive to... Uh, to make the weapons you have currently really powerful to not introduce something else that's just the way mmos are these days irritating but we adapt and we overcome so we'll have to see um and that being said i did get a chance to see um in the discord there was someone who posted a link to a short little video of um it looked like two of the weapons one was the wire lance where they didn't uh a PA and slammed the ground and made a bunch of stuff rain down. The other one was the TMGs, it was shift period, shot out its lasers in all directions, but they all homed in on one single target and hit it with every single laser. So I've seen those two. Those are pretty cool. Um, we'll have to see what else happens. But uh, yeah. You know, I thought about this. Dude, what if the DBs made Kestrel rains like rain follow the target that it went on? Oh, that'd be interesting. That would be interesting. That'd be something else, dude. Ooh. 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 We'll have to see. Anyway, um, so going further down, uh, this is the last thing, and I did want to talk about this too, really quick. Uh, new expert requirements. These will start, or uh, these will change starting May 29th, and your requirements are obtaining the title for S rank clearing, solo training, um, fan. Uh, oh yeah, the the solo training uh, phantoms EQ. So the uh, EQ, wow, I said EQ. The um the solo training phantoms Extreme Quest. So I guess technically it would still be EQ. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um but yeah, so finishing that, not too difficult to do. I know a lot of people had difficulty with before. This was one half of what you needed for expert beforehand. You could either do this or you could do the team one. But right now it's saying you have to do the solo one. So if you haven't done the solo one, go do the solo one. Um, and you also have to get the title for S rank clearing the trigger, um, destroyers of light, the solo one. That one can be purchased for, uh, for weapon badges. It's not that difficult. I think the S rank clear is like 18 minutes and I just went and tried it because I hadn't played in like, you know, weeks or whatever. And I cleared it in 15 and that was a super, super sloppy run. So I don't think it's gonna be too difficult to do, honestly. Um, I know there are people that are, are gonna struggle, they're gonna stress, and they're not gonna be able to clear it. And no offense, but maybe expert isn't for you then in that situation itself. Um, it's meant to be a little bit more difficult. I don't feel like this is unfair in the slightest. It's not hard to do at all. And you can basically just unga bunga your way to victory like I did. I just smashed everything as hard as I could. And that's right now where the level cap is 90. The level cap is going up. So at least I think it's going up. I'm pretty sure the level cap is going up. If it doesn't, then, you know, my mistake, I'm almost, uh, my, my mindset, I just think new, uh, ex new uh, expansion or new episode level cap goes up. So it could just be staying at 90. I could just be like, you know, insane. But we'll have to see. Even at level 90, dude, you still technically out level both of these quests and neither one of them are that difficult. So put some time in, guys. You'll get it taken care of. And I know people also have the argument that I don't have this weapon, I don't have that weapon. All the good weapons literally just take some time to get. It's not even RNG. It's just time. RNG saves you more time, but like you will get them after a certain number of runs. So there you go. But that is what we have for the, the station recap. I was going to say the episode 31 recap. No, this is uh, station recap number 31. So episode six, right around the corner. I'm like literally a couple days. I mean, basically the game's probably gonna go down after tomorrow and uh, probably not come back up right until episode six is live. So we'll have to see. Um, quick little announcement. The plan is to start streaming again when episode six goes live. It depends on the content that we have available to us with episode six. It could totally bomb and then I have nothing to do again and I won't feel like playing. So if that's the case, then I probably won't stream. But the idea is to go come back, start streaming again. So I will see you guys live when episode six does pop up um and we will uh, explore all the new stuff and see what we can learn and what we can figure out and what fun we can have with all the new changes anyway guys uh i could babble on forever but i don't want to make this video any longer than it already is um like the video if you enjoy the content subscribe if you want to keep up with what's going on um make sure to join the discord if you guys want to uh, just check out hang out talk 
we have a lot of different channels for a lot of different things that go on in the discord and i'm not the only one that streams so if you guys want to check out other content providers they will also be there as well um if you guys have any questions feel free to toss into the comments or in the discord and i'll see you guys all in the next one later guys